I'm a fourth year PhD candidate here at Scripps and I'm no stranger to sunset walks on La Jolla shores. On a recent walk, I found something very exciting, a bubble raft snail. So these purple iconic snails are rare among the shores. In fact, I've never seen one on a walk until recently and it got me really excited about these snails. And so I ran to the pelagic invertebrate collection to learn more. Anya let me know about her exciting beach find recently of the bubble snail, Janthina, and we decided to dig into the collection and look at some other specimens that we have archived here in the Pelagic Invertebrate Collection. They live at the surface in the Plustonic community, and they will eat the By the Wind Sailor, which we were seeing here in San Diego in winter and spring, the Valella. They are also known to consume uh, Portuguese man of war. While it's not unheard of for us to see Janthina stranding on the beaches here in Southern California, it is rare. These animals are typically known from subtropical to tropical seas. And times when we see them stranding are typically when we have warmer offshore waters uh, coming onto our beaches, which is what we did see during the about week when Janthina was found on the beaches here in San Diego. So the reason that this snail popped out to me on the shores is because it has this iconic violet color, which is part of its name. You can see this violet coloring on the top and bottom, and it's thought to be used as UV protection since this snail spends its entire life at the air-sea interface. So it floats with a bubble wrap that it secretes right out of the aperture, and it floats on the surface. Places like the Pelagic Invertebrate Collection, they're museums that house voucher specimens and large scale uh, sample sets of time series so that we can sort and identify animals from our waters through time. And this is so important because it gives us a look into who was present and when. And it really helps us to advance our understanding of how our environment is doing and how to best utilize our environment.